Well, welcome back, everyone. This is Travel and Tiv. Today, uh, I'm at home. We just got through camping on a three or four day trip, Petchaburi, Thailand, and uh, that video will be coming out soon. Anyway, today I want to talk to you about some uh, essential needs that I take along with me when I go camping. So now you don't have to have everything I have here, but I'm just gonna point out some of the things that I use. Most importantly, I carry a multi-purpose tool with me at all times. Um, I usually keep it on my side or in my tool bag or something, but I always carry it with me when I go camping. This comes in handy when, it, uh, when you really need it, especially if you need some pliers, uh, a knife, has a can opener in here as well, a hammer right on the end, and a couple other things. And one of the key features that this does have, it has a whistle and also a ferro rod that you can strike with to make fires. Uh, so, and then when you're not using it, um, you can hang it up, uh, clip it on your belt, or clip it on your tool bag. And I put a reflective cordage on the end just so in case I drop it. It is kind of camouflaged. And uh, that's one of the first most important tools I carry with me. Second one I carry is some type of fire. So, fire tool. So I carry this <clears throat> more knife, very inexpensive. This is the uh, Bushcraft Black Edition. You can pick these up online, very inexpensive, and also comes with a ferro rod. So just in case none of your other tools work, you can't make a fire, uh, this is a very good thing to have. So. I've had this for a few years now, and I love it. All right, moving on. Another piece of gear that I carry with me that I think is very essential to have is some type of paracord. Um, now, I, I have bracelets that I make, and I use these. I only bring, you know, I put one on me and I have it with me. These are about 10 feet long, just in case uh, there's an accident of some sort, a cut, uh, somebody's bleeding, or you need to tie off something on your bag, or tie your shoelace that's broken, whatever the case may be, you can use this. Uh, by cutting the end off and then unraveling it. It just actually pulls out. So you can pick this up online. It's a seven strand paracord and that I highly recommend having. Another thing that uh, a lot of people um, don't seem to carry much of, but I carry a lot of these. Now these are heavy duty carabiners. These are from Black Diamond. I picked these also up online and I carry these. I carry a few in my bag. I use these to set up my tarp and um, or to hang stuff up like my bag or if you have a bear bag, Attach a rope to this, throw your line up, and hoist your bag up, keep from bears or whatever. Now there are bears here in Thailand. Um, I haven't seen one. Uh, I've seen some scat and some other things, but nothing in, in the wild. I don't know if I want to. So that, uh, I always carry a, a few of these, at least three or four of these at all times. Um, I haven't talked much about it, but uh, Anytime I go camping, I don't care if it's car camping or jungle camping, wild camping, whatever the case may be, I always get heavy duty or somewhat durable tarp. This is from the company AquaQuest, and this is the AquaQuest Defender tarp. So you can also pick it up online. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, this is a, a PU, a polyurethane of, I think, 20,000 PU. So very heavy duty. Um, and this is one of my favorite tarps that I use. Now this is a, I think a 10 by 14. It's very, it is very heavy. It's probably about a good three pounds. And there are lighter ones and smaller ones that you can get, but this is just the one I got when I go car camping. All right, so I do have a couple of those, hands-free. All right, let's talk about lighting. Uh, I think it's very important to have this in your uh, tool bag, especially when you go camping, um, even when you're you know, traveling or whatever, it doesn't really matter. It's always good to have a headlamp of some sort, hands-free. Uh, this one's from Petzl. Uh, this is not water resistant, but it is rechargeable. So, and it has three settings on there. Um, I've had this for like five years now, and I absolutely love it. So, and I ended up and bought one from my wife, Hang, and this one is water resistant. And when you're not, uh, after you use it, it has a uh, kind of like a, um, a glow in the dark sensor after you turn it off, just 
just to make sure you can find it when it's not on. Um, that comes in handy as well. So very lightweight. These are a little bit pricey, but I'll leave a link in the description below for pricing. Um, so if you don't have this, which is fine, have some type of light, of, uh, light source. Uh, I always carry um, a high intensity torch. Uh, this is uh, magnified, so you can zoom out and zoom in. And this is all actually waterproof as well. And the battery is actually USB charge. So, so I really, really like this. Plug in a USB and uh, it's rechargeable. Very cool to have. Now this is from, it's called Oxy LED or Oxy LED. Uh, and that's what that company is from. So, all right, another light source. So this is my <clears throat> Primus gas lamp. Uh, when I don't want to use all the lights and want to save some of the battery when it gets later, I like to have this or use this uh, at times. This is from Primus and uh, this is a butane lamp, gas lamp. Now this connects to any gas canister or I call them pancake gas, can uh, gas cans and uh, they screw on and they have the adapter as well. So when you, when you don't use the other, uh, I guess you could say butane cans, you can use the paint can, I call them paint cans, and that comes with the adapter as well. So that goes on there. So All right, let's put this to the side. Okay, so when you're dealing with the camping outdoors, it's always good to have a great pair of leather gloves uh, these are from Wells Lamont. I bought these online uh, from, I think from Amazon. I had these imported. Um, they are inexpensive, but I paid a little bit more just to have them. Now I'm in Thailand. I can't find somewhat of a, a decent pair of leather gloves. Um, now I know there are out there, but when it comes to the fitting of the gloves, these are actually perfect. So it's perfect size, perfect grip. Um, and these will shrink when they get wet as well to form to your hand. So always good to have these, especially when handling hot foods, hot pans, uh, when you're cooking. So it's good to have. All right, so we talked about the lighting. Uh, let's talk about the cordage. Um, it's always important to carry some extra cordage with you, especially if something breaks or whatever. But uh, we talked about the paracord to use when you break a shoelace or hang a bag up or whatever, tourniquet. Uh, these are ref these are highly reflective paracords. Uh, I use these for my tarp, my tent, uh, pulling out um, the rain fly. Uh, these are highly reflective, so very good to have. I've made several of these myself. Um, just tie them up with these little um, tie outs. So I'll leave a link in the description below for these. So here's some bank line. Uh, this is something I picked up in the U.S. It's called Bushcraft. Uh, bank line out of Texas. So it's made out of tar, it has a tar uh, coated string, so it's very durable uh, and it's water resistant as well, waterproof. So you can use this to hang up a, a clothesline or whatever, your tarp, um, stuff like that. It's very high tensile strength. So it's good to have some of that. Now I bought a whole roll of it because it's cheaper to buy a whole roll of it. So yeah. so. If you've got mosquitoes coming in your tent or whatever, it's always good to carry some, uh, some duct tape. Now this is called T-Rex. It's kind of like Gorilla Tape in the U.S. I don't think this is as good as Gorilla Tape, but this is the only thing that I can find that's uh, doable. So it's always good to carry some of that and put it in my bag. Uh, that's always good to have with you. Since we've been talking about lights, it's always good to have a battery backup. This is 28,000 milliamps, and uh, I love it. Um, it can re recharge to um, you know, your light or whatever you're trying to recharge at the same time, so it's very good. It's always good to have uh, this piece of equipment with you, especially when you're using your electronics, your phone, whatever. Uh, this is another feature that I like uh, showing. A lot of people don't use. Uh, these are two-way communication radios. Uh, these are very inexpensive from Motorola. Uh, these come in handy when you're out in the jungle. Um, if somebody's gotta go to the bathroom and you wanna just keep in commun communication with them, to make sure they're okay. Uh, we use these when we go grocery shopping before we go into uh, our, our campsite. So if 
I'm trying to get something and I don't know if we have it, I'll just talk on the radio inside the store. And also this comes in handy when you're traveling in pairs as far as if you've got another couple or friends coming around, uh, with you in another vehicle, let them have this one so you guys don't get lost or you know, uh, misdirected and keep on the same, same track. So this is, comes in handy. So yeah, so these are two-way radios from Motorola. All right, last thing that I want to talk about um, and might talk about some other things in my bag. And this is the uh, pocket stove from MSR. This is a uh, very essential piece of gear to have. Now this is very lightweight. It's for backpacking, hiking, whatever, but it's very lightweight. And it comes in this little, actually it came in um, another, it came in this one. It came in my MSR plastic box here and it's just the size of it, but didn't like it. It's, I wanted to use something a little bit bigger and I found this, which I had used it for something else, but I actually put it in here. Uh, this is also uh, for butane gas and uh, this little pocket stove from MSRs. I say this is probably the most important piece of my equipment besides my knife or my ferro rod. So, yeah. All right, and I keep this in the plastic case. And also, the reason why I got a bigger case is because when I don't want to bring everything I need, just essentially I have like extra paracord, or extra bank line, and I put it in here. And this right here is something I, I picked up along the way. Uh, this gets out knots in your, in your ropes. Uh, it could get out splinters. Um, it can come in really handy, especially when you're trying to, uh, you know, fix something. So very sharp but I always carry that with me as well. All right, so this is my uh, tent and tarp steak bag. Uh, this is exactly what this is for. Um, I put my carabiners on here, my extra ones. I just clip them on and I keep a lot of my, this is my heavy duty carabiner. Keep that on there as well. Now this is what I have all my steaks in and I don't know about you guys, but I don't use these stakes. These are aluminum and they're from just a, just a off-brand company online. I picked them up really cheap. I got about 20 of them. I only use these for the footprint. I don't use them for the tarp or the tent. They're not good at all. I, I really don't like using them, but if you need to, if you're in a pinch and you need to have something, I always bring them with me just in case. Now, what I do recommend and what I do have plenty of are these steel stakes. These are heavy duty steel stakes. And I, I carry around, when I'm car camping, I carry at least about 20 of these with me. Um, that gives me enough coverage for my tarp and some tie outs and some other things that I might need. Um, and I carry about 20 of these. And what I've done is remove the factory uh, cordage that came with it. I took it all off and I put this highly reflective cordage. The same stuff is right here on the ends of my stakes so I can see them at night as well. Plus you don't want to lose them. So a brass tipped hammer. Uh, I've seen a lot of these and I put some cordage on the end to hang it up. Uh, bright, brightly colored orange so I don't lose it. This comes in handy as well. It has a hook on the end to pull out your stakes when some of them get a little tough. Very good to have. And also it comes, uh, has a brass tip. This is for, I guess, so you won't damage anything when you strike it, uh, but also it uh, keeps you from uh, making sparks when you hit the steel. So, love this hammer. It's perfect size. It's not too big, but let me tell you, this thing packs a punch. It does, does the job. This came with a set of stakes I bought online. And I might have a couple things like this right here I carry uh, I carry a pair of wire cutters or wire pliers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, a heavy duty Phillips screwdriver, and then a small one with a multifaceted, uh, multifaceted tool on it. You can switch it around and do some other things with this as well. It's ratchet. Just carry stuff like that with me. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> that's just the kind of some of the basic essential stuff that I carry when I go car camping. It's not all, you know, obviously I'm not going to carry this when I go uh, wild camping out in the jungle. Uh, it's too much to carry. I'm just going to carry the essential stuff like my pocket stove, some paracord, some lights, my tent, my tarp, and so on, a couple lights, and that's about it. 
All right, you guys, this is Traveling Tiv. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I just uh, put out a new video. So be sure to watch that one. And I also have one coming out soon in the next week. So uh, stay tuned for that as well. So I appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll talk to you later. This is Traveling Tiv. Bye, guys.